Hi and welcome to another episode of Troubleshoot This. My name is Chris and in this one I will show you how easy it is to install an M.2 drive on your motherboard. Let's get started. Alright, so we are starting off with our motherboard here, the Phantom Gaming 4S from ASRock. This is the Z390 version which is an Intel. So uh, the ones on your system may vary but the slots that uses the M.2 right here are going to be the same. So. Uh, let me just give you a little overview of what um, uh, installing a uh, M.2 drive will be a benefit to your computer. Uh, first of all, it'll make data writing and reading a lot faster. And uh, basically, your, your um, what do you call that? Uh, load times if you're playing games are going to be a lot quicker. Uh, also, if you are doing some uh, software... Um, renderings like if you're editing videos and and uh, um, basically stuff like that or if you're doing graphic design or if you're doing 3d design um, the main benefit is everything will load and save faster and uh, that's the benefit of having a m.2 drive on your system now most of the systems you will buy from the company will have an m.2 already in it because that is our new standard but in the case that yours fail and you need to replace it or if you have an older system that you want to upgrade it to and uh, you know just give it a little uh, boost right there this is going to be the way to install it and it's really easy and I will show you right now I'm just gonna zoom into the slot right there uh, let me focus it real quick here we go all right so this is our drive the fire CUDA let me focus it real quick um, NVMe drive right here, the M.2. And um, the first thing you will do is, I mean, if your board is still installed in your case, uh, it might be a little more challenging for you to do this. But first of all, if you got the drive separately, it will come with a screw. What do you call that? Like the screw to mount the, uh, I cannot get this to focus real quick. There you go, the really small screw that will mount the drive to the standoff right there. Right there. Okay, so installing the drive is easy as lining up the, uh, the slot of the drive itself. Right there. So you can see the drive has a notch right there. And you just match that with the uh, one on the slot right here, like so. And just push it in. You can leave it up like that for the meantime. And now you get that little screw that came with it, or is provided. And you can just like press it down. Make sure it matches that slot right there just screw it in no need to really tighten this very hard as long as soon as it like tightens give it a little twist and you should be good that is all you need you can now fire up your system or start your windows reinstall uh, another note to take is on this board the nvme slot is above the first pci x16 so if you have your uh, graphics card installed here it doesn't matter, you can still install or reinstall this one. But for some motherboard models, these will be under here. So they try to like put this up higher here, so the M.2 will be located down here. Uh, for this model, we have the Wi-Fi adapter. It's an M.2 connection also. So that's one thing to take note of. You may need to uh, remove your uh, graphics card before you can replace or install this one and then reinstall your card afterwards. And uh, if you have any questions regarding this, just type it down in the comments. Other than that, once you have this installed, uh, refer to another video in this channel where you re reinstall Windows and uh, it shows you step-by-step -step what to do to get Windows installed on your NVMe. Or if you have another drive uh, connected like a SATA drive, you can also assign that as a uh, secondary drive and that'll give you a lot more space uh, given this will be your primary this is where windows is going to be running from 
and then your other drive can be your slave drive where you can store all your files and back them up over there. And yeah, for, for the physical installation, that is basically it. We got it installed here and ready to go. And yeah, if you have any other questions, do let me know in the comments and I'll be glad to help you out, uh, troubleshoot further and make sure everything works fine for you. Thanks so much for watching and if this video helped you out, please hit that like button. And if not, then leave a comment down below so we can troubleshoot your issues further. And lastly, don't forget to click that subscribe button and that bell icon as well so you can be notified of the new helpful troubleshooting videos once they are uploaded. We'll see you on the next one.